an adventure with Rocky Star. <laughs> Despite the protests of Mitch and Di, Rocky keeps his appointment on Zog's saucer, even though he knows it's a trap. When Zog attempts to capture our two friends, they fight their way out. Zog realizes that charts and blueprints are missing. Zog chases them in his saucer. While attempting to evade the attack, their car runs off the road and crashes into a nearby river. <coughs> oh, gosh, Di, I, I thought we'd, we'd never fight clear of that car. Rocky, where's Mitch? He must be still down in, uh, in the car. I thought he came out with us. I'll, I'll go down and drag him out. Rocky, I'm worried. He's still out to it and he looks terrible. Yes, Di. Come on, Mitch. You can't die this way. I need you. Oh, get off my back, will you? Oh, Mitch. Cut out the lifesaver stuff. <laughs> You'll soon be arguing with us. Why, you great... He's better, Rocky. He wants to argue. Say you you still get them charts and things, Rocky? You bet. I have a feeling that we'll solve this saucer puzzle in the very near future. Oh, say, I can't make head and a tail of this. I can't even figure out what it's supposed to be. It's the blueprint of an engine. You're a great help, Di. You're supposed to be the engineer of the team. Ah, oh, let's all go out for a walk. Gosh, I've got it. Huh? Y you got it worked out? Now, listen, this isn't a chart of our solar system. Are you sure? Well, I'm certain, Di. This is a solar system outside of ours. Look, look, it has two suns. And you see this planet that's marked? Uh-huh. Well, that's known to our people as Centaur. Yeah? And that is where Zog comes from. Hal, we've talked enough. It's time we acted. Listen, have you any idea how far it is out there? That's more than three and a half billion miles away. We'll be there in a very short time with a saucer engine. Ah, uh, listen, Rocky. The engine on that blueprint is a type of super drive. Huh? It's used out in space to boost your ship to the speed of light. But we can't go that fast. I think we'd be quite safe if we flew at, say, 170,000 miles per second out in space. Kegel and grasshoppers, 170,000 miles a second. Uh -huh. But say we run into a shower of cosmic dust or meteorites. Uh, the repellent ray will take care of that. The what? They're a great success, according to the space jockeys. Di, I want you to go to General Murray and give him a personal report on what's happening. With luck, we'll leave for Centaur within a few days. Come on, Mitch, jump to it. Things are beginning to break our way at last. Come on, Rocky, let's get cracking. <laughs> They are here somewhere. He cannot be Zog. Great It is no use cursing, boys. Look at that woman over there. Forget the women. Zog, I beg of you. She belongs to Rocky Star. Does she work with Rocky Star? Yes, she is called Diana Moore. And we must talk to her. We certainly will. Miss Moore! Miss Moore! Got you! Take your hands off me! Stop struggling and do not raise your voice. Let me go! Who are you? Your Zog. I am, Miss Moore. Now, shall we return to the car? No, we won't. Oh, yes, she will, you little that, fool. That. Now, begin talking. Talking about what? Rocky Star. I haven't seen him for days. That is not the truth. He's away somewhere. He's I... lying, Doug. How dare you say that, you sniveling little runt? <gasps> She would make an excellent slave. I don't know where Rocky is. Miss Moore, these ray guns are very powerful. You wouldn't dare shoot me. Yes, and all that will remain of you will be a small mound of dust. Tell me where Rocky Star is at once. I give you five seconds to answer, or I will fire. Oh, no. No. One, two... No. No. <laughs> Will Zog carry out his threat? And can Rocky take off a centaur, or will Zog prevent him? There is drama ahead in the next thrilling episode of the Rocky Star Adventure, Flying Saucers! Thank you.